Alright, this is going to be a quick guide on how to beat Nightwatcher Muriel using only aquatic pets for the Family Familiar Achievement. Uh, must have pets are the Emperor Crab, and I definitely recommend you have the Puddle Terror as well, but the Emperor Crab is the one pet you really need. He's going to two pet the very first two pets, and all you really need after that is just a combination of two aquatic pets that can take out the Delicate Moth. I recommend the Puddle Terror and the Spawn of Nathus, but Puddle Terror with... Any high health pet that can really stall well is going to do very, very well. Um, and I'll explain why when I get into the fight. So let's go ahead and get this one uh, started. Uh, we're going to open with our Emperor Crab every time and just go heavy on snaps. Literally four snaps in a row. That will always take out the magic pet, no problem. You need the power, power breed, of course, of the Emperor Crab or you will not take out that book fast enough. You want to kill it in four rounds because, as you will see here, the book is going to die and we will still have one round remaining on Curse of Doom before it hits us. So, Helpful Spirit is going to come in and since it is such a very helpful spirit, it is going to reapply Curse of Doom for us. Um, we'll go ahead and throw a Whirlpool at it uh, to express our gratitude and then continue to snap. Don't even bother to heal. Yes, that Curse of Doom has been reapplied, so it says it's going to hit you for 407, but we know better. When Curse of Doom is reapplied, it, uh, the duration is refreshed to four rounds, but... Oh, that was pretty lucky. I got two crits in a row. Normally, that's not going to happen for you. Um, so, I'm just going to pass here. Most of the time, if you don't get those lucky crits that I just got, you're going to be in this situation where you're going to kill that undead just as soon as Curse of Doom goes off and kills you. So I'm going to try to... Uh, I passed that turn on purpose just so I'll be in the same situation that most of y'all will be in at this point in time. So, now you're on the undead racial, your crab has died. If that does happen for you, obviously you don't want to pass your turn. Instead, just kill him when I pass my turn and then throw down a whirlpool. Don't bother with your heal. Throw down a Whirlpool, and that Whirlpool will hit the Delicate Moss for some nice damage. So on this next round, you can either go for a dive on one of your pets and hit the Delicate Moth, but I recommend going for a Nature's Ward, playing it extra safe. And this way, what you're doing is that Delicate Moth is going to hit you with a Moth Dust. It is going to hit you pretty hard, but if it doesn't sleep you, you're going to be able to go for a dive. And if it does sleep you, this is where you want to swap into your Spawn of Nathus. Swap into something here that can uh, soak a lot of damage and uh, dish out a lot of damage. So what we're going to do is we're just going to hit him with the Thunderbolt. Lucky for us, he only got one hit. It probably would be better for us to have a higher health pet. So that was actually really lucky for us. If you want to play it safer, like I said, play a higher health pet. Or just, you know, you only have to beat him once, so I recommend actually just, you know, forfeiting and trying again if you do get slept. If you don't get slept, your Puddle Terror will be able to go for a dive there, and 9 times out of 10 is going to actually 1v1 that Delicate Moth, because as long as you maintain Nature's Ward, you don't take extra damage from his attacks. So at this point, he's almost certainly going to kill Yeah, he is certainly going to kill us, but it's okay. We are actually immune to interrupts or uh, sleeps for now, so we're safe from the sleep. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and dive here. That way we will avoid the counter spell. Then we don't want that slicing wind to hit us hard, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and throw up a nature's ward, hit him with either a punch or a water jet, whichever you have. If it crits, you win. If it doesn't, you'll just hit him again. So at this point, we have the win against him. It is pretty close, and like uh, like, like I said, it is a little bit RNG dependent. If he gets those sleeps, it is a little bit tight, but if he doesn't, hopefully I can show you all a quick match to demonstrate what happens if he doesn't get the sleep. Let's go ahead and try that real quick. So, same strategy as before, of course. We just spam snap. Snap, 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 snap. He's getting all sorts of crits. We don't care. 
as long as he doesn't get asleep. The Puddle Terror can, like I said, most of the time take out the Delicate Moth without even having to bring in your Spawn of Nathus. So, as before, we'll go ahead and throw up a Whirlpool. He's going to reapply Curse of Doom. So, we'll just go for some snips. Don't even bother looking at that heal. I know it's tempting, but you can't outheal that damn. I mean, you, maybe you could outheal the damage. It's not worth it. Your crab is not useful against the delicate moth, so you just want to go ahead and take out these two pets before they do too much damage to your backline. As you can see, my backline is about half health because he's been getting some crits. So, as like I said before, if you don't get those crits, this is where you will be earlier. Curse of Doom goes off. It kills us as his undead racial is activated. So we're going to bring in Puddle Terror, go ahead and throw up a Nature's Ward, and then dive. And this is where I'm hoping the Delicate Moth won't sleep us. Um, let's go ahead and see. Does he sleep us? Does he sleep us? No sleep. Got a pretty high hit, though. But uh, we're going to avoid that counter spell. We're healing while we're underneath. So this is looking pretty good. Uh, we don't take extra damage from Slicing Wind, so unless he gets a triple, we should be able to activate his ratio, uh, take away his racial. Nice. So that's a little lucky, too, not getting uh, hit that hard. But keep in mind, we were hit by a lot of crits on the back line, so even if he'd gotten that triple, most of the time we are going to survive. Unless he gets some crits, we're okay. Um, so we're going to hit him with a punch. He might kill us here. He does. So that's a little unfortunate, but this is where you have your spawn of Nathus. Just anything over 260 speed will do the trick. Hit him with a jolt, hit him with a thunderbolt. It really doesn't matter. Down goes the delicate moth. And so this team isn't 100% of the time going to beat this uh, this tamer because, you know, there's, there's always that chance for a sleep to proc. There's always a chance that the slicing wind can crit a lot, can hit a lot, and you can't do anything about that um with just aquatic pets like uh, that that moth is really difficult to deal with but if you get good rng or even decent rng this team right here will definitely get the job done so uh let me know in the comments if you don't have uh, any of these pets if you need any recommendations for alternative strategies and i will do my best to help you all get this uh, achievement done um also if you have any recommendations for any better teams obviously that's that's uh, any, any feedback is welcome. So hope you all enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next one.